it says right grits. Now. They're so good with butter and cheese. I'm I like, it's even worse. Grits. Yeah. Um, well, okay, so it's back to the raspberries. <laughs> they say adding dietary fiber okay. can help reduce your risk of heart disease. So if you're always looking to add a little fiber, that's a good thing. Okay. You can live to be 100. Uh, you can live to be 100 if you like tea. Do you prefer tea to coffee? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> However, I don't mind. I like, I hate oatmeal. Green and black uh, teas contain something that helps the blood vessels to relax, okay. which also protects the heart. It's all about the heart here, people. Uh, it does need to be fresh brewed. Ready to drink ones don't have the same effect. So if you're just like pounding nest teas or something like okay. that, that ain't good Not for you. Not gonna happen for you. This could help you. You need to eat this color of food if you want to live to be 100. Okay. Guess, guess the color. Green. Green. Try purple. Okay, purple. like that, grapes. That's the color of Concord grapes. Okay. Uh, technically, blueberries and red wine come from Concord. Oh, that, that I'm also. good at. <laughs> yeah, the wine. <laughs> Yes, that, I'm going to make it to at least 40. Technically, that could help reduce your risk uh, Maybe 50 for as much disease. red wine as I have. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, okay. It could also protect against Alzheimer's as well. So eat purple food, uh, probably the Merlot in <laughs> moderation, folks. More grapes than wine. What if we said that? Okay. Uh, here's another good sign that you can live to be 100. You do housework. Oh, yeah, I'm good at that. You can burn almost 300 calories an hour by cleaning floors and vacuuming. So if you're regularly yes. getting up and moving around. Absolutely. Okay, and uh, finally, and this is a real scary one for me. Chances are you could live to be 100 if you don't routine, routinely deal with traffic during oh, your commute. You are in trouble. I have about an hour to and from. I live in Chaska. I need a passport. Heart attack patients, did you know this, are three times more likely to have been in traffic right before their heart attack. That does not surprise me. They think it could be a combo of air pollution, air pollution and just the stress. Yeah, the stress many, of being... Oh, how many one. times have you been driving and you're having a good day and you're like, who just cut me off? All that good stuff. Here's the thing, though. My grandma just passed away at 99. My oh, other really? grandma is almost 94. Oh, you've all the got women good in our genes. life live in their 90s, and their siblings all lived. To be in their Is 90s. that right? I yeah, had an aunt Dodie. Like she was in her hundred, like hundred and two yeah. or something like that. I mean, it's good if you have like smuckers people in your yes. genealogy, totally. then it makes you feel good. Yeah. All right. I'm Here's gonna... hoping you live to be one hundred. Do you know? Oh, very quickly before yeah. we move on, and please, Mike, hold their applause for this. Do you know <laughs> that scientists believe that the first person to live to be one hundred and fifty years old in the modern era has already been born? Bang. What? Here's to having more Merlot. All right. No. Um, no. No more Merlot. <laughs> okay. Recently, uh, as I mentioned, I've seen all sorts of mattress advertisements. They pop up right in the middle of my Instagram feed, sometimes oh, yeah, on my Facebook ads. as well. And when I see these ads, I am always intrigued because, number one, there are really, really good deals that they have with these online mattresses. However, there's a bit of a problem when you buy a mattress from the Internet. Can you relate with this? I need to lay down on the mattress before I pay for the mattress and then have it delivered to my house. Because if it gets there, uh, th then I don't like it. Then it's a whole hassle of how do we get this returned, the whole thing. It's going to get weird, isn't it? Turns out there is a guy who came up with a solution <laughs> for that exact problem. And yeah, it will get weird. This mattress is the Brentwood Home Oceana. In my opinion, is like the Cadillac of mattresses. You care more about sleep than the average bird. Would you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. So yeah, take, yeah. take me back, Ben, to the, to the beginning. Where did this idea come from? How did the Sleep Sherpa begin? Oh, see, this is great right here. Once everything was settled, we were in our new house. We were in a, had a mattress that we, we liked, finally. Uh, you know, at about 11 at night before we went to bed, I told my wife, I said, you know, I'm thinking about starting a website, and I want to call it Sleep Sherpa. He's laying in bed and saying, Which like... Which is just perfect, by the way. It's where yeah, you should be when you yeah, think about Yeah, he's like, I, I think I should become a mattress reviewer. And I was like, why? But go for it. She laughed, and, and rightly so. <laughs> and she said, knock yourself out. At what point do mattresses just start appearing at my door? house? Uh, what I did is I, I started writing about the mattresses we already slept on. And so I reached out to those companies, and I said, look, I, I started this website. I'd really love to try out your mattress. And before I knew it, I've been getting about two, three mattresses a week since 2015. Do you send it back? No, I, I keep them. So what happened is um, we were giving them to friends and family. Oh, that's fun. That's uh, a nice gift. Yeah, yeah, because I had more than I knew what to do with. Oh, and, sure. Uh, we started running out of friends and families. So see all these mattresses in here? I see them. These were all in my house. Were there moments when you looked around and you had just cleaned the house, but still there were nine boxes 
that you couldn't get rid of because they were just there or the mattresses were leaned against the wall yeah. where you thought maybe this is too much for us it was um getting on the on the edge of um being hoarders a little bit <laughs> Um, no I'm fault so of my own. I'm so glad that you said it, because I didn't want to, you know, project that. Yeah. Uh, what would happen is I started posting on nextdoor.com, on Craigslist, and I got this reputation as, hey, this guy gets all these new brands, check them out. People were coming, like, knocking on our door, sure. saying, hey, I heard you got the, the such and such mattress. Can we try it out? Are these neighbors and people that you know well? Strangers. I think my wife was more than patient uh, with the number of mattresses at any given time we had in the house. I think at one point we must have had at least 10. Some people I kind of knew, maybe, but... But not enough mm. of them to come and lay down in your house. No. Our daughter's room, our son's room, people wanted to lay on our kids' beds, and I said, These, this has to stop. This totally has to stop. This is beyond odd. You can watch Wheel of Fortune like this. So yeah. how happy were you when he said, Honey, We've got retail space. I told him you must get a warehouse. Either I am moving out or <laughs> I'm burning this down, this place to the ground. <laughs> this, is why, so... this is why it was imperative that we spoke with you as well. <laughs> Just to mesh it all together and you decide. <laughs> so if you happen to be having trouble getting a good night's rest, I'm telling you, you should actually come to the Sleep Sherpa, lay on a few mattresses. You could be that much closer to a better night's sleep. Right, guys? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. They, they together are just such a dynamic, fun couple with this really interesting story. I have to tell you, I've been to the Sleep Sherpa in Edina a couple of times now. It is really great. I'm telling you, there's an obviously an awesome selection of mattresses. They are so, I fell in love with multiple. That's the only problem there. But what's really cool, it's a no pressure environment. All the deals, obviously fantastic. Um, and you know, you can go to the Sleep Sherpa website. Ben has committed his life. I know, this is amazing. Two mattresses me. and two helping you get a better night's sleep. So when you go to the Sleep Sherpa website, there you can find his reviews of all of the mattresses. He has slept on all of them. He knows the deal. Well, so there I think you go. That all she in one is place. such a good sport for this. <laughs> oh I mean, the fact gosh. that she's like, okay, and then she finally says, okay, we're going to When she said, yourself. you need warehouse space or I will burn this place to the ground, <laughs> I thought, that's, that's a good kind of lady right there. Hey, big thanks to the Sleep Sherpa for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. All right, so it's a good thing to start with. You gotta have that protein in the protein morning, Protein right? in the morning, yeah. But it doesn't always have to be eggs, so we have a breakfast bar recipe that's gonna be coming up. Indeed it is, and we continue one of our favorite series where we take viral recipes, and then we try to make them better. A stuffed sweet potatoes dinner idea that you can make this weekend is headed your way. But first, comedian Hal Sparks is back in the Twin Cities Live studio. Your chance to see his stand-up show. <laughs> Twin Cities Live several times. We've talked about his work on the Disney show Lab Rats. He's confirmed that his middle name is McGee yeah. and even told a story about saving a man's life with CPR at an airport. He's like an onion. He has yeah. so many layers to him. Uh, most of the time, Hal is just, <laughs> he's just Hal. And we have a blast <laughs> talking to him about whatever he wants. He is back in town for a show tonight. Your chance to win tickets is coming up. But first, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hal Sparks. Here it goes. Hey, welcome back. Nice to have you back. Thank you nice so much. Nice to see you. We're so excited. Hi, Hi. 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 H
Do you and want us already, to make it even weirder? Get it? Yeah, something's um, happening right now. Uh, we're, we're we got to give you a weirder. microphone. Oh, did my mic go out? Yeah. Yes. I feel much more comfortable <laughs> with this kind of mic anyway. Don't you feel good? You're a stand-up. Yeah. Don't you always work with a stick mic anyway? I've lived <laughs> a life that's full. Hal, have you ever had a time doing uh, stand-up comedy where you have totally, just utterly no. bombed? No. Really? Absolutely not. I mean, I feel like every comic has that as some part of their journey. Every other comic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, no. Uh, the, the, the sad and weak ones. Uh, no. I, I'll, t I'll tell you why. And I, I'm always amazed. There's so many of these uh, comedians uh, who you hear about, like, oh, it takes me, I don't know, like, 15 months to come up with five minutes, and once it's gone, I can never use it again. I'm like, who are you? That's like if you were a plumber and you came to my house and, and I was like, uh, yeah, it, how long have you been a plumber? Like 30, 35 years. And they're like, well, can you fix the leak? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> I can, let's see. I look under there. I don't know. It's clearly broken. I can see that it's broken. That's all I got. I don't know. Um, like, I don't want to see your face. Just plumbers crack and fix it. That's all I need from you. Why are you such a normal comedian? Because we've even had some comedians come through here, and they're very funny, and what they do on the screen, we know them as being very funny. But they're and they're dead inside and boring how? when they're on here. There are some names that oh. really surprise yes. us. We're like, what's going I'm on at surprised. home? I'm not surprised. Well, people have, okay, first of all, not all singers are ready to sing at whatever, 7 a.m. in the morning or whatever. Sure. And some comedians got, maybe have to market their energy to later in the day or whatever. Because my noon and my work day, you got to think about it, since I do it like tonight's show, 7 and 9.30 <laughs> at the Cinema Girl, um, <laughs> it, it, that my noon for my work day is about 8 p.m. So your right. whole day is rotated for us. So, uh, you know, by the time I'm winding down from work, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning, and you rotate that into the next day, and you're like, hey, let's go do morning television or after right. television, and you're like, this uh, is like 4 a.m. I got nothing, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, it's your it's your job. It's right. part. Of, it's the whole thing. So I, 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 I don't understand it personally. I've seen it. I've seen all the shell shocks. Sure. I tour around too. Yeah, I'm, right. Sometimes I'm in the wake of people, and they're like, I get a lecture. That's what happens. This is what you may not know. No. <laughs> but you go on a radio show or a television show, and you're promoting a gig, and they're like, um, okay, can you do us a favor and not accidentally swear? And also, we t remember that funny story you mentioned that you were going to say? Can you actually stick to that and tell the funny story? Because this happens our, all the time. Because our last guy who was in here, he started crying. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, I know who that is. I won't yeah. say his name. But yeah, it's, it, you know, it's part of the job. To me, and another thing, I'm not doing ads for my jokes. I'm a funny human being for a living. And so I shouldn't have to come out here and tell you a joke to let you know that tonight's show will be entertaining and right. good. Mm -hmm. it, cause, and that's the horrifying part. Why would I trust you? you know, like, your awful energy plus a joke is not going to make me feel good. <laughs> right. I, well, that was a great joke, but I think he might jump off a bridge after this show. <laughs> yes. That's not right. That's not fun. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's my uh, that's my trick. Let me whatever. get inside the brain of House Sparks. You do a lot of traveling, obviously. What are your travel hacks? Like, what do you, when you go to oh, the airport? Oh, I move in. See, I just got back from China. I've been, I'm doing a travel show there. What? Called Explore China with House Sparks. Is this and real? It's true. Wait, what are you talking really? about? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, they needed a host for this show who's funny and speaks Chinese, and there's only one of us. You speak Chinese? What? Do. Wait, no, no, where did this come from? Flag on the place, flag on the place. Well, the Hao. That means my Chinese name is Huo Gong Hao. So I'm known as... Uh, what is happening? Wait, yeah. Hang on. Really? How, yeah. I need to figure out if you're telling me the truth or not. Yeah, yeah, somebody will call in. Yeah, Ni hao. Uh... <laughs> I'm basically saying I'm not gonna freak you out because if I start speaking too long, they're like he's swearing. We're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> um, I basically just said my name's. Uh, you know, my, I said my Chinese name and I and I speak Chinese, but I learned it myself. I studied on my own. I, I mainly watch you know. Kandianar Kanshu, meaning I watch movies and read books. When you host Whoa. the show, are you doing some in English and yeah, some in Chinese? I'm, Is that I'm translating the Chinese uh, speakers to the viewer through the camera on the spot. And it's a, it's did big. you say it's a travel show? Yeah, yeah. It's That's it, so fun. Yeah, it'll be out next, early next year or whatever. And uh, I just got back from there and that, like massive jet lag when I come back because it's a huge time difference. But my thing is, because we're in some of these places for four or five days, and I do this when I'm touring as a stand-up, is that I move in. If I come into a, a town and I'm doing stand-up for yeah. three days, 
the minute I arrive in the hotel, I unpack, put everything away as if I live there because I don't want to see my suitcase for four days because <laughs> I will, it will drive you mad if you travel enough to live out of your suitcase sure. enough. So you have to have one quirk. That's mine. Oh, and it's that. super important. Um, the other thing is bring all your own stuff. Bring your own shampoo as much as you go travel Don't size shopping, which is great because you feel like a giant. That's why I like travel <laughs> size things. I'm like, look at this shampoo bottle. I'm nine feet tall. You know, uh, it's, it, it, I'm weird in CVS. If you pass me in the aisle, I'll be doing that. Look at me with this hairspray. The you know, guy who's having way too much fun. That's right. How you are always a blast. See, uh, yeah. from now on, anytime you come back, we Just will never prepare me up anything. Yeah. Ever again. Yeah, because I don't need to hear about my Wikipedia page anymore. Yes, you're it's good. True. We're over that, right? <laughs> Please, yeah. It's Hal never going to be in English again, though. No. no. Yeah, next right. time. We're going to practice up. All yeah. Chinese. Uh, thank next you, time. Hal. As always. Hey, you can see Hal <laughs> tonight. Tonight he's going to be at the New Hope Center Grill. He has got two shows, as he mentioned, one at 7 p.m., the other happening at 9 30. Tickets are 20 bucks for general admission. And you could win a pair to the 9 30 show right now. Be the fifth caller to 651 989 5555. And you're going to the show. Yeah. Great. That's Chinese really, really I mean, yeah. I honestly thought he was messing with us a little bit. He wasn't. That was, that was Chinese. No, this is like... He's still here. <laughs> there he is. We immediately speak Chinese. <laughs> call in and tell them. Right now, you already have the number. You may not have won tickets, but you can still do it. Come on. You know you know, I'm not lying. It really is. Really. Anyways, Sai Tian. <laughs> We're coming right back on Twin Cities Live, I'm sure. Uh, right now, what we'll do, though, is we'll go from Hal Sparks... Yeah. To our newsroom. Who's hanging out in the newsroom right now? It's your friend, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay, that was Hal Sparks. Now tell us about serious things. Right. I'm glad I was watching because otherwise I would have been scared <laughs> by Hal just popping like up in my face. Like someone took over the studio. Yeah. All right, We're guys. Safe. If you're heading out of the Twin Cities this weekend, you may run into a few detours. I know, shocker. Traffic reporter Josie Smith shows us where and the best way to get around them at 5. And new concerns over the state's licensing and registration system. What an internal memo reveals about continued problems despite spending millions of your money to fix Minlars. Catch more Twin Cities Live right after the break. Welcome back to uh, Twin Cities Live. Emily Engberg is filling in for Elizabeth Reese, who will be back on Monday. Yeah, okay, so with the start of the school year, we all seek ideas for those new routines that limit stress and, of course, set the entire family up for success. Two words, my friends. Yep. Batch cooking. Come on, Ooh. that is one of those fantastic solutions, especially when we're talking about breakfast. With pre-preparation, it ensures you get a healthy start to the day. Here to explain how CoburnsDelivers.com can help you do just that. We welcome back our friend. She's healthier than we are. She's a registered <laughs> dietitian. Emily Perrin is with us, everybody. All right, uh, let us begin. Teach me how to make uh, a blueberry protein walnut breakfast bar. This sounds like we'd be winning in the morning. Yeah, definitely. So this is something that you can make ahead of time, maybe on a Sunday, um, and then have it ready for the whole week. Make Emily work. I was going to say, you're going to put me things. to work. Yeah. Okay. All okay, right. Let's do it. So you just want to mix, put all these in the bowl. Okay, I can do that. So we have a little bit of coconut milk, walnuts, oatmeal, pepitas, and then blueberries. Okay. In this base, we've already pre-cooked, and it's just walnuts, um, Oatmeal, a little bit of protein powder, um, and okay. you essentially just puree mix it. it. Up. Yep, All mix right. it up. That's go. so easy. Look You're at doing this. Great. Got um, this. And then what are we doing? We're like baking this. Bake this for eight minutes. Oh, that's quick. Yep. Really? And, and then we'll put this on top and then bake for another 12. Oh. So it's still pretty easy. You can do oh, it under wow. a half hour. And look how pretty it looks, too. It doesn't look like the granola bars that you're going to get in just a wrapper when you're so, going to the store. This is great. And then, I mean, protein, protein. You know what? I read a bunk article. You're a dietitian. You can answer this. I read an article today that said you need to get uh, carbs, focus on carbs, carbs, carbs in the morning, but we, we want protein makes us fuller longer, right? Exactly. So you want, I like to say you want a protein, a Go carbohydrate, and a healthy fat at all times. And so pairing those carbohydrates with a protein mm. or a healthy fat is going to help fill you up. And that fiber that you were talking about earlier in our yeah. purple um, blueberries. That'll help you live to be 100 years old. Exactly. So you got that. See, look at, how is it? That's great. Amazing. That's really, really great. See, and I like mixing it up too in the morning because sometimes you don't want to do the same old thing. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you how long you want something to bake in the morning. If you are in fact making yeah. it in the morning and not the night before, eight minutes. That's yeah. the right uh, baking Absolutely. time. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these cute these little omelet These look delicious. Cups. So these are one of my favorites. So essentially you just put a little bit of milk, eggs, and some peppers okay. into a bowl, maybe onions or cheese if you want. Mix it up, put it in a muffin tin, and bake it. That's really? it. And that's it. Boy, no and way. they freeze which is fabulous, because you can make a bunch ahead of time. And especially if people are coming over, if you have guests and you're mm -hmm. trying to get something good, that's another option, not just in the morning. If I told you hypothetically, 
that right now we are feeding our three children in the morning um, box <laughs> cereal and one of the kids just wants cinnamon swirl toast. How would you feel about that as a registered dietitian? <laughs> I would say try to get fruit in. Okay. Try good. to get a fruit, a vegetable, start them small. Okay. Maybe There's try room for some of these. Yeah. These could be the, the, uh, the granola bar Bars. is really, mm -hmm. really delicious. And making it fun for them and getting them involved. Yes, and if they get to pick the fruit, things like that, then exactly. they don't feel like we're being forced to eat this mm -hmm. fruit. They get a say in the matter. Exactly. Um, I have to say this. I've said the words bento box out loud before, and I don't think I fully understand. I don't think I could describe what they are and why all the rage. So explain this bento box situation. So essentially, it's putting different things together, not necessarily mixing them. It's just kind of little snacks. Um, but it's great in the morning because it's great to have in the car if you're driving the kids to school um, or if they're on the bus and they can eat. Perfect. So you, like I said, you want a carbohydrate, a protein, and a healthy fat. EFC, right? Exactly. EFC, protein, fat, carbohydrate. Yeah, right. you know, yeah. So we have over here, we have the pepitas for the healthy fat, uh, string cheese for protein, and then blueberries for our carbohydrate. And then we have, I don't know if you've ever had the Kodiak cake. No, waffles. what is that? Are these the protein waffles? They are, and oh, they're yeah. fabulous. And they're lower in sugar, too, which is great. Because that's what we're always trying to do is lower that sugar. If you're going to lower anything, mm -hmm. lower the sugar, sure. not the fat. Yes, right? exactly. You want healthy fats. Healthy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And okay. natural sugar is fine, but we just want to try to limit that added sugar. Awesome. Power See, I like that. That sounds good. That makes you feel a little bit... Yeah. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Emily, excuse me. This is so embarrassing. I told everybody <laughs> oh. that we were doing a TV segment. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a guest here. Hey! I could have sworn... I could have sworn that that Coburn's delivery uh, person worked for Twin Cities Live, but I guess not. She was in the uniform and everything. Do you know, I have to uh, say this as an aside, I got to visit Coburn's Delivers, like their headquarters yeah, this week. Yeah, they're fantastic. Uh, I've never been oh, inside. Oh, it's so cool. It is like a wonderland inside of there. I learned how, all, how everything works. You go on their website, you click, you do your grocery shopping. It is just, it's so simple. And then you have people, the mechanism that they have, they have these carts with eight of these green oh, crates yeah. on it, and then they go through, and they're zapping things and making sure the right thing goes in the box. It's yeah. just, it is, I was so blown away by the, uh, by the whole operation. All righty, let's make a smoothie now, shall we? Excuse <laughs> me, I'm just going to place this back here. It is pretty convenient, right, which is really nice. Tell okay. me about these little smoothie packets yeah, that's that you what have. Just yeah, so those are hemp hearts. So if you want, so these uh -huh. are freezer smoothie packs. So essentially what we want to do is you can put all your pre-cut fruit, or if you want to buy frozen, put them into your plastic bags and have them ready when you want to put a smoothie together. Another really fun tip is if you want to put yogurt actually in an ice cube tray, yeah. you can freeze them and put them right in there. So you don't, you just pour it into your blender and you're ready to go. You don't need yeah. to have to oh, That's that a is. great idea. There you go. Coburn's Delivers helping us get breakfast started right. And yeah. this always feels like, oh, but will I do it? But once you prep ahead yep. yes. one time, so you'll realize how much of a game change it really is. Emily, Definitely. thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you can head over to CoburnsDelivers.com and use the promo code TCL for $20 off of a $100 purchase through September the 30th. But that's not all. Sign up today and you'll get free delivery for 60 days. A big thanks to CoburnsDelivers.com for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Uh, somebody here in our live studio audience is about to win $100 in groceries from Coburn's Delivers. Yeah. Susan from Blaine, you are our big winner. Yeah. Susan! Way to go, Susan. Congratulations to you. All right, friends, after the break, a professional makeup artist shares her favorite ways to take it up. That sounds weird. Um, she, we're going to take makeup off of her okay. faces. <laughs> That I'm was written suggestively. Yeah. Sorry. And Skull, the Vikings start the regular season this Sunday. If you're watching at home or will be watching the game in person, we've got some products that are going to enhance that celebration. You've got the products. I can't wait to see them. And calling all witches and muggles, a Twin Cities movie theater is holding a Harry Potter movie marathon where you can see them all on the big screen. <laughs> filling in for Elizabeth Reese today. Yeah, okay, so if you're new to the makeup world, the beauty aisle at Target may feel a little overwhelming, but our next guest says that you don't have to be confused by all the products in the cosmetic shelves. Indeed. Hillary Klein is a beauty expert and the creator of Klein to the Top. She's here with tips that every makeup beginner should know. Hi, Hillary. It's good to have you Hello. here. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. So good to be here. 
<laughs> okay, so this is kind of makeup for beginners. We've got our lovely teen model. This is 13-year-old yes. Cressa who is here with us. Um, she gorgeous? She's just she's lovely. So cute. And this is the time when people try to start working makeup into their routine as they become teenagers. Um, so what are we doing with uh, Cressa's pretty face? Yes. So teenagers, when you're starting out with makeup, I like to say less is more. Yes. Enhance what you Thank have. you. Yes, yes. Can yes. we get yes. a round of applause for that? that. <laughs> because you don't get a lesson sometimes and you right. just start putting it everywhere. Right. Next thing you know, you've got too much on your face and it's cake face. We don't like that. Don't so like that. we didn't put any foundation on Cressa because I feel like when you first start out, it's a little heavy. Mm -hmm. So gorgeous skin, don't need it. What we did though is we put a little bronzer on her. So Steve, could you grab this little bronzer over this here? Right here? Yep. So what's cool about this, this is by On Natural Cosmetics. It's a organic, vegan, and paraben-free company that's based in Green Bay, Wisconsin. All right. You're probably looking at that like, what do I do? What do you do with it? Okay. <laughs> Come on over, Steve. Oh, yeah. You're my little assistant. Wonderful. <laughs> so what you do is you spray it. Are you ready oh. for this? Oh, it's in a spritz up? Uh -huh. Do I spray the brush? Put it, put it on the brush. Oh, my. oh, that's fancy. It's like dust. This Whoa. is your bronzer, and just put a little bit on the cheekbone area. Boy, that's interesting. I've never seen bronzer that like right? that before. Right? Wow. They've got the blush, too. We put a little bit of blush on her as well. So you just hit the cheekbone. You come, you start here, and you want to go up toward the corner yep. of the eye. Sweep out towards the uh, eye. Yeah. And just a little bit. A little bit goes just a long a way. Up. Enhance the features that you have. Is this lipstick or lip? Gloss we got we lip have. gloss and lip it gloss. smells like peach. Oh, fabulous. 100%. I'm really big on smells, right? And I yes, know you are too. I love smells. So we put a product on her by Too Faced. It's just a nice little lip gloss. It looks nice, nice and fresh and light. So. Is Too Faced something that you can grab at like a Target or a CVS, something like that? Or do you need to this go online? This one you can get at Ulta or you can get online. So. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, you I look like fantastic. Cressa, um, Cressa told me, I said, you're a teenager now. Do you still, are you still like kind and respectful to adults? And she said, yes. And I said, she said, don't believe what you've heard about teenagers. We're nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Cressa. Thank, Thank you, Cressa. Cressa. <laughs> Alrighty, now, uh, here comes Lisa. Lisa also appears to be very polite. And uh, tell yes. us what we're doing here. We're focusing all on the eyes. Yes, and I don't trust you with an eyeshadow palette. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> What we're going to do is, you know, there's so many different eyeshadow palettes out there, right? Mm -hmm. Ranging from all different, you know, price ranges. But I like this one by Urban Decay. It's Naked Basics Chew. And it's got these matte shades to it. So very natural. I've used okay. this. It's fantastic. So good. And it's a good price point. Yeah. It's under $30. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we used these four shades. Don't be intimidated. You don't have to use every single color. If you're just starting out, maybe try one or two colors and just play around with it. And it's always the, you see all the different colors, like the first one, for example, with the lighter, you always start yep. lighter and then you kind of work your way over, right? Yep. You can use the lighter color and go underneath the brow bone area and then go darker as you'd wish. Does every woman know that more, more or less? Do they know that the, uh, these palettes are supposed to be mix and match, that you don't have to just commit to one shade each time? I think so. I okay. mean, you, right. can, you, can, you can play around with it and see what you're comfortable with, but I like to start small. And with this, great for travel. Small mm -hmm. colors, you're good to go. And that is the key, is just have fun kind of trying it out maybe before you go out. Yeah. Okay. One little tip, too. Do yes. you ever wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, my God, I look so tired? Yes. Yes. I did this Pretty morning. daily. Yeah. <laughs> tip from me to you, take a nude eyeliner and go on the water line. And bada bing, bada boom. She's bright and beautiful. Oh, look at because that. Because that's, hey. that's where we get red. It gets yep. kind of miscolored. And you look, you can look sick. I know yes. I can feel that way in the morning. <laughs> feel you. Do you want to try it? No. It's, I feel like that would hurt. Did yeah. that hurt, Lisa? No. It glides on like a dream, Steve. <laughs> All right, I'll Maybe try after it. the show. Oh, really? I'll just try it real quick, oh, real quick, real quick. Oh, jeez. Oh, Lord, help me. <sighs> last time, last, time we did, last time we did blush. <laughs> Actually, I'll just draw a heart. We'll just draw a heart yeah, over here. Yeah, thank you. I got so scared. There we go. I wanted to get out of it, but I didn't know how to like decommit. I'll oh, leave you that look up there. great. You look great. Uh, here's one thing that I've learned recently, <laughs> and it is all about the routine, routine, routine. Find a routine and stick to it daily. Uh, a few staples that you might point us in. Skincare. Skincare. Makeup is great, but honestly, skincare is so important. Mm -hmm. I feel like people look for solutions when it comes to makeup to kind of fix things, but makeup can only do so much. Right. Start with a skincare routine. Three things. There's so many products out there, right? Mm -hmm. But start with your three basics. Start with a cleanser, start with a toner, and start with a moisturizer. Cleanser, what, toner, moisturizer. And explain what that's going to do with the toner, for example. I think that's the one that people say, oh, why do I need that? They're like, what do I need this for? This one is actually a Target. It's a trial size. It's under $4. What it does, it just helps with the pores, and it kind of preps the skin for your moisturizer. Okay, mm. cleanser. 
Toner. Cleanser, toner, toner, toner moisturizer. 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 And nothing else. Take that away. Let that aid you <laughs> in your daily skincare routine. How's my heart? Look, oh, still look pretty good. It looks good. It looks real good. It's One more amazing. thing. Can I share this product with you? Yes. Because your producer, Britt, yes. she messaged me on Instagram and she's like, Hillary, I have a gnarly zit. I need to get rid of it. Oh, gee. And I'm, she was like, I'm using toothpaste. And I'm like, girl, no. What do you do? You need to get this drying lotion spot treatment by Mario Badescu. Okay. All right, we will link up to all of this, <laughs> okay. including makeup removers, which we told you about. Yes. We're going to put that up at TwinCitiesLive.com, uh, so make sure you go there, my friends. Yeah, okay, so Facebook page Tasty. You know the one making viral recipe videos has 94 million likes, but it wow. doesn't mean that everything post is actually gold. So we take a stuffed sweet potato recipe to the new next level coming Can't up. Can't wait for that. But first, we will take a look at the Twin Cities Live weather window brought to you by Minnesota Sunrooms. Get sunroom savings from Minnesota Sunrooms, Minnesota's preferred dealer for four season sunrooms. With sunrooms starting as low as $99 per month. And during our state fair sale, enjoy $1,500 in free upgrades so you can go from an awesome to an amazing sunroom. Schedule your free consultation now, and we'll give you this $100 Patio Town gift card as our way of saying thanks for the opportunity, Minnesota giving you more reasons to buy Four Seasons. Minnesota Sunrooms. Well, we are so happy today to have representatives from Missing Grace. They're here for our Rockstar Road. The organization was founded after the heartbreaking loss at birth of Candy and Stephen McVicker's daughter, Grace. Since then, the foundation has worked to help other grieving parents handle loss, and they've even successfully lobbied for legislation to ensure that parents received birth certificates of stillborn babies. And the GRACE in Missing GRACE stands for Grieve, Restore, Arise, Commemorate, and Educate, and they need your help. They're holding their 13th annual Minnesota Hope and Hearts Run fundraiser at Bunker Hills Regional Park. It's a family-friendly 5K run, walk, or dash happening on September 15th. You can register online until September 13th, and we have a link on TwinCitiesLive.com. Well, they pop up in your Facebook feed all the time, most of them coming from, you know, Aunt Barb, <laughs> right? She's reposting those viral recipes that make cooking look so darn easy. You're just going to love them, but they don't always taste so good, do they? So we enlisted a food scientist to help. Here for another edition of Taste the Trend, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our recipe developer, Mary Jane Miller. Hello. Hi, Mary Jane. <laughs> okay. This is always a ball. Mary Jane, let's yes. talk about the original one first. Yes. Uh, tell us what you thought. Um, not so good. We can do better. Not so good. Not so good. But it wasn't <laughs> terrible. I gave it three. All right. So I we've got the original spoons. one over yes. here, and you created this, and you yes, recreated I did. what they I what did. they had said. Um, what was it you lacking know what's in your wrong? idea? Yeah, please. Okay. Well, there's no sweet potato in there. All that's left is a skin. So they tell you to scoop I, out the sweet potato, and you really don't know what to do with it. Uh, I wanted to eat it. What's so the point of that? yeah, I left that in. And then it's um, red cabbage sautéed with uh, well cooked in barbecue sauce, rotisserie chicken salt and salt and sugar and then green onion on top so it's simple ingredients but nothing no. but then sweet potato is such a good part potato. of it that's the part that Don't i would you? think would be the big seller yeah so i've had these delicious enchiladas with sweet potatoes and black beans uh -huh. and chicken so i thought i'd recreate those inside this sweet potato now mary jane's wooden spoon rating which is a one to five scale mm -hmm. she she a three is about as good as i've ever seen you i give. think so generally mary jane who actually writes recipes that you see <laughs> on the back of boxes yeah it takes a lot to please her she has high standards we're going to go from three Take us to five. What have you done to alter this recipe? Great. So we start with a sweet potato, and I'm going to rub it with a little bit of oil. and Why, rub it. Why are we doing that? Well, because you can eat the skin on the sweet potato, okay. and we want it to taste good. And if you just stick it in the oven with no oil and no salt, it's just going to shrivel up and get leathery. Okay. Yeah, so I rub it with some oil. Uh, this is just vegetable oil, and then sprinkle it with salt. Okay. And pop it in the oven. I do 375 degrees. It'll take about an hour, so you can come home, throw it in the oven, and go change your clothes and then come down and finish it. Okay, okay. that's nice. Or you can microwave it for five minutes. I don't think it's as good. Yeah. I like a baked sweet okay. potato, okay. but um, it's fast. It gets dinner on the table. All right, what's happening yes. down there? You got so it. then we got some flavor going on. I've got that same oil with onion and garlic sauteing. Then I'm going to build those enchilada flavors, and I'm going to put a sweet bell pepper and some jalapeno in there for some kick. Okay. And then keep that cooking. When this starts to soften, 
and is about half done, then the ingredients that don't need as much cooking are going to go in. Mm -hmm. okay. We've got sweet corn. Look at those tiny little oh, sweet corn. Oh, uh, from River Bend Organic Farm. These are. Yes, they're just really delicate and delicious. Okay, so Yummy. that goes in there. So that goes in here, along with some black beans, either cooked yourself or from a can. Okay. This uses about half a can, which I generally don't like to do, but black beans are an easy thing to use up. Sure. If you have them in your fridge. All right, a lot of enchilada flavor. Um, I do see. Uh, yes. What's the, spice. The, what's the spice? What's the your spice, spice mix here? That is from Golden Fig. Oh yeah. Oh. Yes, and see, it's her, that's great. actually it's her dip mix. Find one that you like, a nice all-natural taco type seasoning, and use it in all your taco stuff. This is a good one. Okay, the Santa yep. Fe dip. We got Santa that right Fe there. dip, and then a, a little, little tomato, can paste? Of tomato sauce. Yeah, yes. it already smells yep. so good, doesn't it? And is tomato chicken. sauce and tomato paste the same thing? They're no. different. No, no. no tomato right. paste is thicker. Do what she said then. Do yes. the tomato <laughs> sauce. Don't do the tomato paste. <laughs> I misspoke. <laughs> all right, so now that's so all this just has together. to simmer just for a couple of minutes. <laughs> okay. And then the potato comes out of the oven, and okay. it's hot potato, so you hot might want to use it. A towel to to protect your hands. Okay. Slid well, I'm right curious to see what you're going to do here because if you didn't like the fact that they just took all of the sweet potato out and sort of did away with it and made well, it non-central. This is all I'm going to do. I'm going to split it open, fluff it up a little bit with a fork, and put it in a serving dish. Because it looked like in the original recipe, and when they had the final plated version, it looked like they took the sweet potato and then put it off on the it side. It was off on the side. Isn't the joy eating it all together? Together, I would right? think so. Yes, yes. So then you're going to spoon about half of this. It's pretty generous, so it's going to overfill. Uh, you got it, Emily. <laughs> you got it. She's a great A spooner. Hey, okay, listen, potato. you know what? I've been cooking more. Let's just do this. Yay, good for you. I have been, guys. Oh, really? Hell is frozen over, Steve. <laughs> when did you start doing this? Within the year. This is really great, Emily. This is great. And nobody has died. Yeah. You look great. No Thank one you. Poisoning. And then is it just that simple? Lot, you top with a little bit of cheese. Well, let's put some cheese on there okay. and a little bit of cilantro oh to my finish gosh. it off. Yes. And it just looks good. I love something that looks good. So when people mm. come over, yeah. even though that was so easy, it looks like it took you so much longer, right? Yeah. It's and very don't hearty. Separate the sweet potato. That tastes just wonderful. I like that bite. That bite yes. of sweet potato. That is I'm really good. In. Mary good. Jane, quickly before we go, yes. the number one mistake that you think most home cooks make is what? Uh, oh, don't wow. don't feel like you have to follow the recipe exactly. Make it your own. You're the cook. If it doesn't oh. taste right, fix it. That comes from a recipe developer. She's giving you a little bit of freedom to go off of that. Mary Jane, you're, the stuff that you make is always fantastic. That Every is single so good. time Thank that you. you come in. Thank you. You're one and of the best. you know, on September 15th, I'll be out in Malacca for a fundraiser that I'm doing. Stuart Woodman, the wonderful chef, will be cooking. We'll have music all afternoon. Oh, and fun. I think the information is going to be on your website. Oh, my I gosh. Mean, she's Wait, on the show. She knows exactly what we're talking about. She's right. That is going to be uh, up on the website, as well as Mary Jane's revised recipe, which I would encourage you to check out. Uh, all of the information that Mary Jane talked about and that I just told you about, found at TwinCitiesLive.com. Guess what you have to click on when you go there? Click on food. 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 That's I where was, it is. You know what I was just thinking? <laughs> what were you going to say? I was just thinking about when I can take my next bite. Oh, yeah, that happens. Awkward. All right. Here, you're a guest. You can eat that there. Uh, after the break, <laughs> we're going to chat with the host of Millionaire and The Bachelor, Chris Harrison. Get his take on Bachelor at Becca when Twin Cities Live comes back. Right. Welcome back. A big thanks to Muddy Paws Cheesecake, my favorite cheesecake on the entire planet. They fed our audience today. You can head to their St. Louis Park location, try any of their 222 flavors. Whoa! Yes, and mention Twin Cities Live and get $5 off a 9-inch cheesecake through the end of September if there's anything left because Steve already stole one earlier. So delicious. Uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is coming back for their 17th season this Monday right here on 5 Eyewitness News, which airs just before Twin Cities Live. Yeah, and it's the fourth season for host Chris Harrison, and I had the chance to talk with Chris this weekend about, you know, what it's like to house, to basically host Millionaire and, of course, The Bachelorette, too. How often are you honestly going, how did they not know this? Or, come on, they've got this, they've got this, you're sending good vibes their way, or are you just kind of like just going with the flow and you're like, you know that this is kind of the gig? Well, you know what, my, my executive producer has a great line. He says, trivia is only hard if you don't know the answer. You don't have to be a mathematician to be great at millionaire. It's really knowing a little bit about everything that helps you. And so that's what makes it so playable and I think so enjoyable to watch at home. You know, Becca is from the Twin Cities right here. So we just had her on Twin Cities Live. Of course, Live. your hometown girl. She was awesome. She represented, I think, Minneapolis and Minnesota as a whole so well. And it was so near and dear to her heart. I mean, obviously you guys have a lot to be proud of, but she, I thought she really owned it and, and loved being a part of Minneapolis.
You can watch Who Wants to Be a Millionaire right here on 5 Eyewitness News at 2 o'clock and then 2.30, as we said, right before Twin Cities Live. Hey, we'd like you to head to our Facebook page right now. It is time for you to ask Emily and me anything that you want. It's called <laughs> Free For All Friday, and it is happening next at Twin Cities Live at 4. You ready for that? You ready for the next 30 minutes? I'm ready. Michael, Are you ready? have you gotten some questions from our audience as well? Yes? Okay. Wonderful. So we're going to take a two-minute break. Go to our Facebook page right now. Be a part of the show. Be the Facebook Live, it's Twin Cities Live at 4 with Elizabeth Reese and Steve Patterson. Hello, neighbor. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome in. This is, in fact, Twin Cities Live at 4. Elizabeth Reese is coming back on Monday. Say hello, ladies and gentlemen, to Twin Cities Live reporter Emily Engberg. She's here all half hello. hour. Hello. Thanks for having me again. This is always fun. Okay, so it's time for you to ask us anything you wanted to know. Anything. Anything. We don't care. Hop on our Facebook page. Uh, you can find out if your question happens to get featured. This is called Free For All Friday, my friends. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, plus, if you're looking for a new show to binge, our critic has a worthy pick, especially if you like Stephen King books. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, it's time for you to hop on and get involved. Free for All Friday starts right now. We have got team coverage as we always do. Uh, Brittany Larson, our producer, is hanging out. She's manning the Facebook page. Uh, the phone line is available as well. And our producer, Mike Marcotte, is in the audience with folks who might have questions. Oh my goodness, you found a folk. I who found Sonia <laughs> from Cannon Falls. What Hi, is your question for Steve and Emily? I would like to know um, what talk shows you watch? It's a good question. Can mm -hmm. I tell you this? Only Twin Cities Live. <laughs> That's all we watch. <laughs> there are some people, I think, um, that probably really enjoy watching the competition and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I watch so little of other local programming just because mm -hmm. I'm, like, busy. I, my wife and I don't determine what's on the television until about 9 o'clock at night after the kids go to bed. So that's a little bit tricky. I will tell you the talk shows I grew up on, and that would be uh, Rosie, uh, Rosie O'Donnell's oh, show with yep. my mom. My, we would always that. watch that. Uh, Regis and Kathy Lee, we used to always watch that. Mm -hmm. And then The Late Show with David Letterman and Conan O'Brien. Those were yep. my four shows that I just loved. How about you? I probably watch more late night shows, and I just kind of flip back and forth. I don't watch a lot of TV anymore because I'm always busy and I'm out and about. But I do like some trash TV. Oh, like what are you watching? Oh, I love some reality TV. You watching like True TV oh, and I'm stuff like that? Oh, I'm watching like Bravo. Keeping up with the Kardashians. I'm not even feeling bad about it. Oh, really? I need to keep up because I need to feel like I know what's going on in the world. You currently watch that show? Oh, it's the worst. My boyfriend comes home and says, "This no." No, because he's like, this, what are you doing? Why Emily's are you spending... got her second rosé. I'm like, like this is so great. Room. I'm like, I know, girl, Kim. No, oh. I don't know. I love those just because I don't have to think. That's right. That's exactly right. And you then movies. turn your brain off. I'm always watching movies. Uh, let's check in with Brittany Larson. Britt, what's coming through the old Facebook page there, friend? Hi, you guys. There's a lot coming in, so that's always great. So Marilyn wants to know, this is for Emily, have mm -hmm. you ever declined a roving assignment? Oh, so have yes. you ever said no to a, a story that we suggest <laughs> or ask you to cover? Yes. Jumping out of a plane. That's your limit. Yes. They always say, you know what we should do? And then there's been some reason. I just, I like to fly, people. I don't like to jump out of the plane. I get that. You know, because we have M's adventure, so mm -hmm. we always want to send her out and have her in precarious situations. Aren't you also afraid of tubing? Didn't you get real scared tubing? Oh, I've done tubing. I hate it. It's Everybody's so like, you've jumped off the U.S. Bank. Yeah, you have rappelled off of skyscrapers, but and we put I've you done... on a tube on a hill in Minnesota oh, and yeah. you're freaked out. And I've done a hundred foot just free fall jump. I've done all these random things, but I don't know what it is about tubing. I hate it. Isn't that something? Now and you Kelly know. Hansen is like, this is so weird. She's like, why are you so scared? And I'll just sit on the sideline and go, woo. Well, you know what? I say you say enough yeses, so you're entitled to a Thank few you. no's. I think Thank that that's you. fine. Uh, we'll go back to Michael in our audience. Hello, Michael. This is Kim. She's from North Branch. What's your question? Do you have any tattoos, and do they represent anything? Mm. Well, I can't show you mine. Mine's taking <laughs> <out>. <laughs> I need it. Uh, no, I don't have any tattoos. I, I do not. Say something. Do you have a tattoo? No, because, no. and here's why. Not that I'm against them. But I just have nothing that I want permanently on my body. Like, yeah. I don't want to be like, oh, this is a rose for the rose in the show that I love The Bachelor. I don't know. It's yeah. like, I would have the dumbest story that I'd be like, I don't know why. I have but one Russian phrase on my inner thigh. <laughs> it's my right inner thigh, I'm trying to think. 
And then I have just says baklava on my left butt cheek. But besides that, no, I don't have any. I've thought about it. I, at one point in my life, I don't know where that came wow. from. I thought about getting a Patterson crest. You know, like there's like a yeah. family crest that you can get like from Scotland. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to have that on my back. It's going to be so cool. I'm just so glad that that phase passed. I know. Because I like a crest in and yeah. of itself, like looking at it, but I don't want it on my body. So I no. almost did a sun devil little thing from ASU. I went to Arizona State yeah. years ago. Good and some of my girlfriends, I go back every November, they always say, let's do it. This is the year. And I'm like, oh, Guys, with each passing year now. that you get away from college, no. it ain't it, the year not for cool. a tattoo. No. Uh, Brittany Larson has another question from our Facebook page. That is correct. So, Steve, this yes. question is for you. What is the scariest thing you've ever done? The scariest thing I've ever done? You know, it's probably, there was this, there was this place, shh, there was this place. <laughs> I don't know why I started talking quietly, but let's go with it. So there was this place in Southern California, in and around Anaheim, <laughs> and they had a lot of, uh, you could do rock climbing and things like that, indoor rock oh. climbing.